Yesterday, I got an invitation to join a Teams meeting. I got two options. I could run it in my browser or I could open the desktop app. It didn't work when I tried it through my browser and I have multiple versions of the desktop app. And now I want to gouge out my eyes and I think I'm just gonna skip the meeting. Yeah, just don't go. Andre, yes. please help me with this. Okay. What is going on? All right, so if you are going to go to this meeting, just don't use the browser-based Teams. Uh, while it is technically possible, it does come with a lot of baggage. There's a lot of different browsers out there, Safari, Chrome, Edge, Firefox. They all have their own little settings for enabling microphones and cameras. It'd be a huge headache. It's probably gonna ruin your life trying to figure it out. It will ruin your life. Don't do it. If you install the app, the local desktop app of Teams, uh, you will find that that comes with a little bit of its own baggage. There are currently two Mac versions of Teams and three Windows versions, and your Windows PC probably came with the wrong one, the one that you do not want. I am so sorry about this. I don't know why this happens. And hopefully, maybe in the year 2026? 2027? 28? 29? We count really well. And I think that in one of those years, we have just one version of Teams. Maybe they'll get a, they'll whittle it down to one good one. That hasn't happened yet. There's a couple everywhere, but we're gonna cover that and explain all of it, yep. okay? Um, and even though this is a Mac channel of Lucas's Mac tips, uh, he is now going to give me Temp special. Temporary and special permission. Very temporary, very special permission to help you if you're a Windows user too. So if you came here from Windows land, really hoping to figure out your Teams, just jump ahead to the Windows chapter in this video. I'll see you there. Andre's got you. Andre's your guy. So on the Mac, if you navigate to your Applications folder, you may see that you have two versions of Teams. Teams Classic and Microsoft Teams Worker School that is emblazoned with this new badge. So the new one does not actually get rid of the old one is the issue that you encounter here. And it can be difficult to figure out why well, you have two, maybe one's working properly, the other one isn't. If you just join Teams to do a, a video call, if you're not typically signed into Teams with a Microsoft account, all you have to do is erase the old classic Teams. You will not need it again once you have the new one. But the way that you do that is by clicking on the Finder in the bottom left corner, navigating to your Applications folder, selecting Classic Teams, and saying command delete or right clicking and saying move to trash, which will ask you for authentication to put in your password and then send that app to the trash. There we go. So if you do use Teams regularly and you are sometimes signed into it, if you have a Microsoft account, then it can be useful before making that deletion to get into Teams and just confirm what your user account is because you may end up needing to sign in again to the new version of Teams. When you first get it going, it does try to, nav to migrate your account, but occasionally that doesn't happen. Just to be safe, if you go into your classic Teams, and then you can click on its name in the top left corner in the menu, select Settings, and navigate to Accounts. There are older versions of Teams where this type of circle with your initials uh, was displayed in the top right corner of the Teams window, and clicking on it there would let you see what your user account was. If you don't see that, this is where you will find it. Once you know what your account is, you can close out, quit classic Teams, sign into the new Teams with that same account. If you are trying to get Teams for Windows, and maybe you have a PC that came with Teams for Home and you know that you need the work or school version. Basically, if you're trying to put in your Microsoft 365 account and it is saying it doesn't exist, even though you know it does exist, you've used it many times before, then what's likely happening is you have the wrong version of Teams on your PC. So even though I'm showing this to you on a Mac, I will show you the website you need to visit that will allow you to download the correct version. So this is teams.microsoft.com and if you go there it will show you this page where you can download Teams but instead of just clicking download app for desktop if you scroll down past that you will see some details here about whether you want Teams for home which is likely the one you already have and the one that will not recognize a Microsoft 365 account 
or Teams for Work or School, which actually will recognize a Microsoft 365 account. But before you download this and double click on it in your downloads folder to install it, which actually works the same on PC as it does on Mac, interestingly, um, what you're going to want to do is download the app installer. This is the thing that causes a lot of these Teams installs to fail and confuses and angers a lot of people on Windows. You want this app installer to be up to date and running before you try to install Teams for Work or School. And if you click on this, it's going to take you to the Microsoft Store app and let you download it for free and install it. If this is down there and up to date, you will be able to install Teams for Work or School on your Windows PC and get back into your Microsoft 365 account. So now you are finally in the right app and hopefully you got rid of the old one, but maybe now your camera and your microphone are not working. Good news, today we did a video for that one as well. We'll post the link on somewhere on- In a corner. In a corner of the YouTube video. Uh, if you hate dealing with this stuff, Andre is a specialist on our team. He works with 25 of our business clients and helps them just with just the, the deployment, the, the syncing, answering the questions, installing the apps, getting everything working for Teams. And he does this work remotely, internationally, wherever you are. Uh, Andre, how do people book with you? People can book with me by going to macinhome.com slash booking and scrolling down until they see a picture of my face, which you can see now That's right here. Andre's face. This is my face and you will find it at macinhome.com slash booking. And it'll be the same face that shows up in the Zoom meeting when you book with Andre and you talk with him, and it will be the same face that gives you relief from all of these Teams nightmares. That's right, because when we're trying to fix Teams, we have to talk on Zoom. I, yeah, actually, I like Zoom better. So if you found this helpful and you want some private Mac coaching with me or someone from my team, just head to macandhome.com slash booking. We work with people all over the world. We'll help you with whatever is on your Mac problems list, and you will never feel judged or shamed for whatever mess you are in. Teams, the need to use Teams. Yep. We're doing it. Start over. <clears throat> I so, thought that was a stick of butter. This one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a nail file. Oh, okay.